Hey, first graders, come on and learn. Oh, hey, hey there, how you doing? Okay, uh, welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to read the story, 100th Day Troubles. Oh, where did I put it this time? Here, here it is. 100th Day Worries, I'm sorry. And it is a great, great book because everybody might be worried about something. But we're going to talk about how to get over that worry and how to fix it. Okay? But first, here's what we are going to do. I want you to take a look at these vocab words. Okay? Let's read them together. Worry. Collection. Announce. Display. Shoved. What do those words mean? If you worry about something, do you feel very happy about it? Do you feel a little bit nervous? A collection. What could you have a collection of? Maybe a collection of rocks, a collection of cards. Announce! If you have to announce something, you're going to make sure everybody hears it. Display. I'm displaying this book. And I'm not displaying my faith. Display is showing something. And shoved. Have you ever shoved money into your pocket? Or food into your mouth? Okay. So I want you to choose three words and put them in a sentence for me. All right? And then enjoy the book. Okay. <clears throat> so, we are going to be talking about... What should we talk about? Hmm, maybe... Main characters, problems, a connection that you make during the book, the solution, and draw a picture of your favorite part and describe what is happening. So, think about who the main character is, is there a problem and a connection? This book is called The 100th Day Worries. Have you ever felt worried before? Or have you ever been helped? And solution. How do we solve this problem? Okay? Enjoy the book. Enjoy it. It's a very, very good book. Make connections that helps you understand even more in your big old brains. All right, let's go. 100th Day Worries by Marjorie Queeler, illustrated by Arthur Howard. Jessica was a worrier. She worried about everything. Oh man, do you know someone like that? She worried about losing her first tooth and remembering her lunch money and missing the school bus and getting her math right. Now, I have a connection to that because when I was a kid, I would miss the bus sometimes and I worry about my math being right still as an adult. But on the 95th day of first grade, Jessica's teacher gave her something new to worry about. Next Friday will be the 100th day of school, Mr. Martin said. So, I want each of you to bring in a collection of 100 things. They can be anything you want, but they should be small, like rubber bands or marbles. We'll display our collections out in the hall. Immediately, Jessica began to worry. Well, of course. Oh no, she groaned to herself. What will I bring? 
So I noticed that every little thing Jessica's worried about in the beginning. All weekend long, Jessica thought and thought, but each new idea brought new worries with it. 100 ice cubes? Too melty. 100 marshmallows? Too sticky. 100 toothpicks? Too pointy like this book. Oh, ow! Ah! That Sunday night at dinner, Jessica asked her family for ideas. How about a hundred yo-yos, suggested Tom. That's dumb, said Jessica. Where would I get a hundred yo-yos? Maybe a hundred lipsticks would work, said Laura. Jessica rolled her eyes. Laura might have that many tubes of lipstick. But Jessica sure didn't. We know you'll think of something by Mon- Oh, said Mom and Dad. You have until Friday. Do you see how I made a little mistake there? Well, that's okay when you're reading to make a mistake. But I noticed it and I went back. On Monday, the 96th day of school, Jessica watched as Bobby gave Mr. Martin Five bags of peanuts. There are 20 peanuts in each bag, Bobby explained. Great, said Mr. Martin. Why didn't I think of peanuts, Jessica wondered. Hmm, look at all those. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. On the 97th day of school, Jessica watched as Sharon piled paper clips into ten neat stacks on Mr. Martin's desk. One hundred paper clips in all, Sharon announced. Wonderful, said Mr. Martin. How does she find so many, wondered Jessica. Oh boy, I knew when I was in the classroom, people would steal my paper clips all the time. On the ninety. Eighth day of school, Jessica watched as Ashley brought in 100 peppermints. I ate a few, she admitted, so I really only have 95. She promised to bring in five more peppermints the next day. Fantastic, said Mr. Martin. Jessica's stomach felt queasy. <coughs> Sometimes... When you feel worried or upset, your stomach feels a little queasy, you feel a little anxious, that's completely normal. You know, always talk to an adult about those kinds of feelings. By the time Jessica went to bed, on the 99th day of school, she still hadn't thought of anything to bring. On Friday morning, she sat at the breakfast table and stared at her cereal. Well, you can't eat it if you stare at it. Jessica? Asked Mom. Oh, what's wrong? Today is the last day to bring in 100 things for the 100th day of school, and I still haven't thought of the right thing, she said. I've only come up with stuff that's too melty or too sticky or too pointy. I'll be the only kid without anything to show, and everyone will make fun of me. Jessica began to cry. Don't worry, said Dad. I have an idea. Well, you better get your nose out of that paper, Mr. Dad. He pulled open one of the kitchen drawers. Here are some ribbons, he said, giving Jessica a handful of scraps. Jessica counted three red, two green, two yellow, two purple, and one striped. Whoa. Wow. That's awesome. That's ten. Mom ran down to the cellar, or the basement, and brought back a jar. Here are some screws, she said, dumping a pile on the table. Jessica counted. 
four big, four small, one giant, and one tiny little screw. Again, that's ten. Here are some rocket-shaped erasers from my collection, said Tom. Four pink, three green, two white, and one yellow. So he has an eraser collection. Here are some beads from my necklace that broke, said Laura. Three round, four oval, two square, and one <gasps> shaped like a smiling cat. Oh my gosh. I'll get some buttons from my shirt drawer, said Dad. He found five black, three brown, and two white. Here's some loose change from my purse, said Mom. Ten pennies and ten nickels. Oh, man. Whoa. She's really getting a lot of stuff. Here are ten barrettes I don't need anymore, said Lara. Here are some rocks from Iggy's Aquarium, said Tom. Six brown, three green, and one... Sparkly! Look how sparkly. How much stuff do we have so far? Asked Mom. Jessica looked at the stuff on the table. It wasn't 100 of anything, but at least she had something to show. Something was better than nothing. Look at Jessica right now. Has she changed since the beginning of the story? All morning, Jessica thought about the stuff in the bag. She tried to remember the things her family had given her. Ten ribbons, ten screws, ten erasers, ten beads, ten buttons, ten pennies, ten nickels, ten barrettes, ten rocks. That came to ninety. Whoa. Where could she get ten more things? Oh no, here came her worries again. Now, even though she's worried, it kind of doesn't look the same. Do you know what I mean? In the beginning of the story, that's how she looked. She looked down. Oh no. But now she has that worried face. At lunch, Jessica found a note in her lunchbox. Sweetie, we'll help you find more stuff this weekend. I'm sure Mr. Martin will understand if your collection is late. Don't worry. Love, Mom. Aw. X, 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 X. Oh, my goodness. Suddenly, Jessica had a great idea. She smiled to herself as she waited for lunch to be over. Do you think, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, lad! After story hour, Mr. Martin said it was time to put their hundred things out in the hall to display them. What did you bring, Jessica? he asked. Here are... Ten ribbons for my dad, she said. Ten, asked Mr. Martin. And ten screws for my mom, said Jessica. The other kids came over to look. Now they're interested. And ten erasers from my brother and ten beads from my sister, said Jessica. <gasps> Pretty, said Anita. Woo! And here are ten buttons from my father, and ten pennies and ten nickels from my mother, and ten barrettes from my sister, and ten rocks from my brother's iguana aquarium, said Jessica. Cool, said Leslie. And what's this? asked Mr. Martin. It's ten kisses from my mom, said Jessica. See? I brought in one hundred things my family gave me, said Jessica. Is that okay? Wow, said Mr. Martin. I've seen a lot of great collections for the 100th day of school. But this one... Jessica swallowed. 
This one is really special, said Mr. Martin. You've brought in 100 bits of love. Oh, isn't that so cute? <laughs> All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. I hope you really understood the way that Jessica changed throughout the story. And it all comes from asking for help when you need it. And I hope you made some connections. I hope you enjoyed. Adios. Do the work that you need to after the video. Goodbye.